It's the day of the party and I don't have anything to wear. I'm with one of my friends from high school. Here's to my last night in Georgia. Because Red's coming back to Austin for Halloween. I'm actually really proud of this, guys. <laughs> My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new week in my life vlog. I'm back at home in Georgia. I'm staying with my dad right now and so he lives in Alpharetta and last night we were at dinner talking about Diwali because it's Diwali today so happy Diwali and my dad's actually having a party at his house. I fashion passed two dresses and I realized that it was sent to my Austin address so I messaged customer service like right away and they were able to change the address for me but then I checked the FedEx tracking link and it still says it's going to Austin. So it's the day of the party and I don't have anything to wear because I didn't bring any fancy dresses because I just knew I was going to do a fashion pass dress. Um, so it gives us an excuse to go to the Avalon, but I'm sad because I wish Ryan could come with me. He obviously has to work. It's still Monday. Um, so I am probably going to go alone, um, but I think there's like a couple good stores there like American Threads, um, Fabrique. I don't, I think I like got one dress there one time. Um, but it's definitely not going to be as cheap as Fashion Pass, so kind of annoyed about that. I feel like I say this in every week in my life vlog that I'm annoyed at Fashion Pass. Overall, it really is a good idea, but, uh, I mean, it was definitely my fault that my address wasn't changed at first, but, like, I literally emailed their customer, or texted their customer service, and they were like, yep, we got it changed for you, like, no worries, you should receive a tracking link, like, soon. I should have tracked, I should have checked it. Honestly, like right then and there, but anyways, that's okay. We're gonna go shopping at the Avalon today. Um, and then the party tonight is actually American clothes, so we're not even wearing Indian clothes. But if you watched my last vlog, we went to another Diwali party that I was decked out in my langa and I got to get dressed up. Ryan actually got his first ever Indian outfit and my dad took him shopping and it was like the cutest thing in the world. So definitely go watch that video. I'll have it linked in the description box. So I just went into Altered State and they actually had a perfect dress for the occasion. And it was actually pretty affordable. It was definitely like maybe right at a hundred. But then I walked in the Anthropology and saw these stunning dresses. Like these are like literally perfect. They're definitely a little bit pricier, but I feel like I could rewear them. So I'm gonna try them on and we'll see if it's worth it. So I'm trying on the dresses and I actually already put on this green one and I wanted to ask Ryan which one he prefers and I think he says green. And honestly, this one fits me better because it actually has adjustable straps. This one, it could definitely fall down because it doesn't have adjustable straps. I'm kind of curious to see which one's more expensive because like I said, these are not very cheap. Um, Luckily, the green is more expensive, but it definitely fits better. And like I said, I feel like the adjustable straps will save me tonight. Good afternoon and welcome to Crab Apple Starbucks. Can I get your name? Okay, so I didn't know what I would do for breakfast. My dad's out. I'm just going to get a shirt for the Bali. Like, we're all last minute shopping. But I got my salted caramel cold foam on top of an ice white mocha with oat milk and then i got my sausage egg and cheddar it's been a while since i have had starbucks so i'm so excited and i'm hoping it's like the good kind of salted caramel cold foam because some people just like really mess it up do a taste test they did it so good <laughs> and it's the best one you haven't had in a while and then they just like make it perfectly you know so 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 good um but i got the goods i got the anthropology dress i think it's gonna be perfect starbucks really just hits different during the fall time with all these freaking stunning leaves they're starting to change a little bit more like every morning i see 
more trees change and the leaves are falling and I swear it's just like a magical thing to see them fall. I don't know if you can see that one leaf that's falling, but I just feel like it looks like a fairy tale or something. Just finished breakfast and I found out that my dress for tonight is actually designed by a South Asian woman. I think her name is Pallavi. I just like looked it up on anthropology um, online for some reason and I saw that and I was like, you know what? This makes so much sense because it literally is so like, I don't know. I can tell that it's an Indian design. Just like the beading and like even the bottom is just like, it just reminds me of a very like Indian material, if that makes sense. So it is literally perfect that I'm wearing it for like a Diwali party, but my dad said like, just wear American clothes. So it's like perfect cause it's, oh no, it's getting stuck on my bed. Yeah, it's like a mix. So I'm very happy I bought that. Then I got some dangly earrings that will look really good with it. I'm gonna change out of my jeans and back into comfy clothes. And then I have kind of a lot of work to do, just submitting stuff editing all that kind of stuff so i think i'm gonna hang out on the couch downstairs because someone's coming to deliver some indian sweets for tonight that i have to like look out for i hope she like rings the doorbell um so i'm gonna bring all my computer stuff down there hang out down there maybe watch some youtube videos well oh wait no shit i need to watch bachelor in paradise from last week because i didn't get to watch tuesdays and it's on tonight which i won't be able to see so maybe I'll just like save it all for tomorrow and just like binge everything on Hulu because um, I love Bachelor of Paradise. Honestly, I feel like I say this kind of often, but I keep watching like the Bachelor franchise just to stay in the know. But in a perfect world, I would only watch Bachelor in Paradise, but it's not fun unless you know the people from the Bachelor and Bachelorette episodes you know what i mean like you know their personality already are they annoying are they like a bitch are they like funny cool whatever like are they the popular people like i feel like this season on the bachelor in paradise there's like not that many like well-known people so it definitely was like boring at first but i feel like it's getting juicy so i'm excited to see the new episodes do we have enough fireworks on? not enough <laughs> These are called Diaz, right? literally out of breath <laughs> because I put all those dias out downstairs near the pool and then I filled them all up with oil and then I came back out here and filled the rest with oil but I think I'm gonna shower because I'm like kind of sweating and then I'm gonna get ready I probably only have like an hour I am pretty much all ready and I literally spent like the last 15 minutes trying to put my hair up in like a half up, half down situation. It was just not working out. My hair's so dirty right now and I put some like product in it that made it so disgusting. Thank God it doesn't look like it, but it was like a powder volumizing thing. Literally up here, it feels so, so, so gross. I don't even know how to explain it, but just like stiff. I did put on false lashes again for this event. And I'm still like really wanting my hair up and like bangs like in the front, you know, that kind of vibe, but I just could not get it on my own. And also I didn't really have um, like any bobby pins or anything. What do, you, what do we think about like a pony? I feel like that could be cute. Maybe just like fluff it up a lot. This could be a vibe. Let's see, put these bangs back here. I just like want my earrings to show because I bought new earrings and it kind of like matches the um, crystals on the dress. So I'll figure this out and get back to you guys. Okay, I think I settled on this hairstyle. So I literally grabbed my bangs and tied it under my head, which kind of hurts because they were short, so I had to tie it tight. And then I like teased this part a little bit. 
So at least you can see my earrings and look at like is so similar to all the little crystals on my dress. Yay! Okay, let me show you guys the dress, even though you saw it this morning probably, but how freaking pretty. And I love that it's like a corset kind of top because I just feel like it's very flattering on me when it's like cinched in at the waist. And I'm wearing my bangles that I got for my other The Bali outfit. And I think I'm all ready. Last minute moisturizing and just making myself look really glowy. I'm using the Dibs little glow stick thingy. It is in the color rose goals. I love to do this. It just makes you look so healthy and obviously glowy. I'm just gonna do it down my arms too. And obviously moisturize before because you don't want it to like latch onto your dry skin. So it's important that you moisturize, but it always looks so pretty. I'm gonna put this stuff on, but also make sure to wash your hands before you touch anything like your dress or especially if you're wearing white, that is not fun when you get like a little stain on it, which happens to me every day because I love my neutrals and I just stain everything that I have. And love. I love my outfit. Literally this dress was so perfect, like the whole Fashion Pass dealio. It was meant to be, even though that was fucking stressful and annoying. <laughs> All those were set up by me, but somebody else split them. They're kind of going crazy. <laughs> it's uh, making me a little anxious. Some of them are like literally all, oh, they're like lip on both sides. Oopsies, but it still looks really good. Tuesday. I'm with one of my friends from high school. Hi. We literally haven't seen each other since high school. Yeah, it's wild. And I was like, the last time I remember like hanging out was on my trampoline in my old like childhood home, which was so and fun. And we look like completely different people since then, yeah. which is wild. Yeah. I wish we had like a picture together. I, there's no You're way. You're gonna have to like insert one. But I it. literally, you just said you have all your high school photos, but I don't know where the fuck really? they are. Really? Yeah. I think they got like deleted and stuff. Which is I sad. need to find them. Yeah. At least one of us. Maybe she could send a video send, of us yeah. being cringe. Yeah. yeah. But you know what? It all paid off and here we are. I know. So we're both content creators now, which is so fun. My name is Kira. I've literally known Sonali since high school, which is wild. I feel like middle school, maybe. Like known of. No, yeah, we've known yeah. of each other since middle school yeah. for sure. And then we finally started hanging out in yeah. high school. And then college just happened. Yeah. And then life just happened. Yes, literally. And but now. We're here back. we are back together, okay, having yeah. a good old day, and I'm so <laughs> thankful that you're here, and I'm so glad that you reached Yay. out because I literally, it's so hard to find good people that are content like, creators, yes. especially like here, right? Or like, is there not a lot in Atlanta? I don't, I don't know. I feel like I'm just kind of picky. Yeah. Okay. You know? I get that. Yeah. But well, like, you kind of have to click. Yeah. Exactly. Like it's not just like taking photos, but exactly. you want to hang out, like enjoy like, the time. Like, do you understand? Like, yes. The angle. Yeah, I got you, girl. I got you. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna start by taking photos on this like cool little window wall. So let's do it. Okay, we're both in our second outfits. We did like a blazer situation. I got like a blazer pant. I'm not wearing these Uggs, but <laughs> they're comfy to walk in. And we're just like in the main courtyard of the Avalon. But like, look how cute this is. So we're gonna take pics there. I'm in Sephora because she had to go to a laser hair removal appointment, but it's like apparently just her armpits, so she's gonna like be 10 minutes. I was like, well, I'll just wait for you because I'm not ready to go home. And I wanted to shop anyway, so I'm just in Sephora. Um, and I wanted to get um, another one of my Makeup Forever 
HD sticks and wanted to get like a winter color for it and then now I'm like looking at all the lipsticks because your girl can never have too many. Okay, she's done with at her appointment. So, so Nolly brought me in here and she <laughs> should have because now I'm seeing things that I didn't know I needed to Oops. So. <laughs> yeah, one of my favorite foundations but I was just telling her she uses the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and the Pro Glow is literally one of my all-time favorites from the drugstore and I just like keep crawling back because this one's like a lot heavier of a foundation and the other one's just like a lighter foundation but like this is good for like all day wear. Honestly, the other one is too though. It's so hard. <laughs> it is hard. Like, and there's too many to choose from and like too many options. My goodness. Like but, I want a full coverage. Yeah. But I don't want to look cakey. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to look cakey. I feel like this like makes me look a little bit cakey. Like the L'Oreal Pro Glow. Maybe you should try the Pro Glow. Are you more oily or more dry? More, mm, or are you combination? Combo. Do do try the um Pro Glow and uh -huh. just like set your face. Okay. Because that's what I do and it like looks matte. It Have doesn't even like look also? super glowy. Like, um, I don't think so. Like contour oh, the contour one? Yeah. I think that's like the highlighter, yeah. Yeah, the contour is like never in stock. Never. <laughs> and um, I use, like, for my lips, I always use. Where is it? Is it Foxy Brown? Iconic Nude. Uh, you do? Yeah. On the inside, and then I do literally NYX Cold Girl now. I like, feel like, I feel like th that is too pinky for me. I want to try nude? it now, yeah. Really? Wait, you mean the p lipstick or the lip liner? The lip liner. Oh, shit. Okay, third and last outfit. We just wrapped. Princess Killed Polly it. moment. Yes. Yeah. Use our codes. <laughs> XO Cure for 20% off, guys. <laughs> Go for it. We are at Kona Grill because we just wanted a little snacky snack. Need a little bite. Yeah, because we, we're pooped. Like, I feel like it just, like, it, it drains you a little bit. I'm not going to lie. But we got some um, avocado egg rolls. These are so good. The sauce is what makes oh. it. So good. And then she got a little crab roll, right? Yes. Crunchy crab roll crunch and um, hot, hot stickers. stickers. I love hot stickers. We've literally been shooting. Like, I didn't realize how quick time flew by. Yeah, I know. It was already time for my appointment. I know. But I'm glad we got a meal because then we have just more time to talk and catch up. <laughs> I'm back home and I changed into something for dinner i'm just wearing this like checkered shirt i kind of wear it a lot it's from revolve and i'm really getting my money's worth out of this shirt um it's long sleeve and kind of like cropped ish and then i'm wearing my um abercrombie white jeans my room's kind of a mess <laughs> um and then just this coat from abercrombie and we are going to dinner at umi tonight which is one of my favorite favorite sushi places probably ever but definitely in atlanta i think our reservations are like 7 30 so we're probably gonna leave here at 6 40 it's 5 17 and i kind of have a lot of computer work to do um so i'm gonna go downstairs do some work um ryan's gonna come over probably soon ish and then we'll be able to go get some sushi. I am craving the spicy tuna crispy rice. I have not been able to really find it anywhere in Austin at any sushi restaurant. So if you guys live in Austin and you know where to find the spicy tuna crispy rice cracker things, let me know. Like I have had it at Sushi Jenna. I think that's like the only place I found it. It's not quite as good because um, the quality is just like not the best there, but if you guys know of anywhere, please let me know because that is like one of my favorite things to get as a little appetizer. Ready for some sushi? What kind? Spicy tuna crispy box. <laughs> That's what I said too. I'm kidding, I want the tuna oh, crispy box, tuna crispy box too. Scallops. Oh my god, my mouth is salivating. Is that my new word? I feel like I say that a lot now. The salivate is on the docket. <laughs> like an orange bro. <laughs> I do look orange. And my time is coming to an end here in Georgia. Like, I feel like it went by so fast. We're just kind of sad, you know? I feel like I should have stayed here. Day. Who's sat in bed? Long. You should stay here for like two weeks. Right, I literally have not even it's sat in bed at all. Nuts at all. Wednesday. It is already 4 p.m. and honestly today was just a big admin 
computer work day because I need to like get caught up. I feel like yesterday I did a bunch of emails and so today I was doing a lot more content and before I got here, I like wrote down all the content that I wanted to post every single day, like literally like with the titles and everything. And I barely did that and <laughs> I kind of knew that was gonna happen. But I thought that like if I had a plan then I would like really stick to it. But honestly, like I've been randomly like weirdly busy with like, I don't even know what I've been doing, but I just like wanted to spend as much time with family. You guys get it. Obviously when you're home, you don't really want to be attached to like TikTok and work and stuff. Um, and I'm very, very grateful that I was able to kind of like take off this time because I just like cranked out so much content before coming home and getting my brand deals all done and all that kind of stuff and photography. Um, I edited a bunch of galleries yesterday, so we're all pretty much caught up on that. Um, but I'm currently editing a vlog and then tonight at 8 p.m. I have a reservation at Rumi's with my mom and my sister. Rumi's kitchen is like a, is it Mediterranean or is it like specifically Middle Eastern? I don't know, but they have really good kebabs and this like rice with like raisins. Oh, so good. So I'm very, very pumped for that. Um, and then if I'm not too tired, because I have to drive home after that, and like, I'm just like not used to driving like the 30 minutes to get to anywhere around here. Because in Austin, you can really get anywhere in like 20 minutes or under, especially if you like live close to the city. Um, so I think dinner is about 30 minutes away. And then like my mom and dad live like 45 minutes away from each other, which is like lovely. <laughs> I'm also really lucky that I'm able to like borrow a car to like, you know, go see them and everything and hang out with my friends um but i'm gonna get back to editing i feel like i haven't edited in so long because i have a video editor for like week in my life videos and then like the rest i'll just like edit on my own so it's kind of fun i kind of miss it November. Oh, okay. so I'm leaving tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. What are we drinking tonight? We're drinking Josh. It's a cab sab. It's super easy. We actually picked up a wine from Trader Joe's before coming because Rumi's Kitchen has a really good cork, like uncorking fee. It's only fifteen dollars. So instead of getting like a glass of wine for like twelve dollars, you can just bring your own. That's kind of smart. Wow. Good morning. It is Thursday. It's our last day here. Well, my last day until November. But you're coming it's home to with me. Too. Oh, true. Because <laughs> Ryan's coming back to Austin for Halloween. And I don't know if I told you guys this, but I literally ordered everything for our Halloween costumes night. yesterday night. So, guess what we're gonna be? Should we? Should we wait and tell them? It's gonna be Wolverine. No, no you're I not. <laughs> I like picked his costume because he was not so. up at the time and. The Amazon thing, I was like, if you don't order in one hour, it's not going to come by Thursday. And I just wanted to make sure it's going to come by Thursday because our party's on Thursday. Friday. Yeah. And then the other party's on Saturday. I just wanted to like make sure that nothing was going to get delayed because I feel like that's been happening to me. But anyways, we're up bright and early because we wanted to go to this place for breakfast called Gracious Plenty. Um, actually, someone from our like high school owns it. Um, you wrestled with them, right? Yeah, both. Yeah, We've heard honestly so many good things about this place and it's been here for kind of a while, right? But it's, it's our first or college, bro. Yeah, it's our first time at trying it, so we'll let you guys know what we think. It's right on Canton Street Historic Roswell. Mm -hmm. Tell them what we got. Hash brown bowl. Hash brown bowl. Mm -hmm. and cheese. Biscuits and gravy. Yeah. Looks so good. Yeah. Looks very southern. <laughs> I don't think I have, <laughs> have had a southern meal in a while. <laughs> and I usually, I think we eat a lot of Asian food. So yeah. Hey y'all, it is Friday and we are back home in Austin. Yes, we, Ryan, came back with me for Halloween. And tonight is our first Halloween festivity. Um, the past two days in Georgia were definitely more chill. So I didn't really vlog much because I was honestly just working on my computer like 
kind of the whole day and we got back to Austin late last night and then we picked up Sophie. Come here, come, come here. I gave her a bath today so she's all pretty and stuff. Come here. They love you, they love to see you. Ow, look at her. She kind of forgot who Ryan was, ha ha ha. Usually she's all over Ryan and Ryan was like, oh, like take a video. <laughs> Uh, anyways, I thought that was very funny. For the vlog, Sophie, it's not true. Sophie, who do you love more? Yeah. It's fucked up. <laughs> anyways, we actually just watched a scary movie and I kind of feel weird, even though it wasn't like oh. that bad, <laughs> but like I feel like I do like scary things. When I have someone else around, not alone, obviously, um, and we're supposed to go to House of Torment, which I don't know what day we're gonna do that, but um, it was, what was it called, Ryan? There's someone in the house. There's someone in the house on Netflix, right? Your house, I think. Oh, there's someone in your house on Netflix, and it was actually pretty good, like, not gonna lie. Anyways, I just got a text while I was watching the movie um, from the website designer for my photography page, and guys, it looks like better than I could have ever imagined. Um, and I'm so happy. I'm gonna give you like a little sneak peek of the homepage. All right, so here's the homepage. We have like sliding photos over here. Then we have a little bit about me. And then some, um, what are these called? Like reviews and stuff. And the blogs will go here. And this is my accent color, like a little blue. I'm not really sure if it's like showing up on camera very well but I think it looks so cute I think I told you guys but I ordered everything for Halloween literally so last minute so I'm just opening packages right now but I just got this package from Berga which is where I got my newest phone case I am literally so obsessed with it and they sent over this MacBook case to match my phone case Sophie don't bark well I this is probably not efficient to like do it with one hand. Okay, so it's this checkerboard pattern. Like I said, just like my phone case. Let me go grab my phone. How cute. Okay, I'm definitely gonna change my um, case out to this one. And I'm gonna link Burger down below and I'll also link my phone case too. The best part about it is that you can like choose to have it MagSafe or not MagSafe. Mine is actually MagSafe, which is so nice because I can wireless charge it and all that kind of stuff. Grandpa Joe has arrived, ladies. Kinda look good. <laughs> it's cute. So this is the scene that Grandpa Joe is in bed and he's like just found out that Charlie got the golden ticket. So I need to still make him a <laughs> golden ticket, yeah. So it's kind of like both the Grandpa Joes because as you guys know, there's two Willy Wonkas. So we're mixing them both up. This one I can wear that. All of it, or I don't think you really have to wear the hat. Oh yeah, 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 no, not the hat, but it all came together. So the glasses and the mustache and stuff. But maybe don't put on the mustache yet because I think it has sticky stuff and I don't want you to waste it. Hmm. <laughs> Definitely not giving Grandpa Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it's giving, but not Grandpa Joe. Like Brooklyn hipster. <laughs> Ryan, I hate that beanie. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> yeah, I think you need to show more of your hair. I'm terrified. <laughs> Goodness. It is 5:45. And the pregame starts at eight. <laughs> so I definitely want to start getting ready soon. I have to straighten my hair. I washed it today. And I feel like it's getting so freaking long. Like low key, I was washing my hair and my hands started to hurt, which is a good problem to have. Not that I'm gonna say my hair serum's working because I feel like that would be a lie because I literally just started using it about, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks ago now. But I'm making Ryan's golden ticket now, Grandpa Joe's golden ticket. I didn't find a Sharpie anywhere, but I did find this pen marker thing. It was like perfect. You know, I don't really have like the best handwriting and it definitely wasn't even, but something's better than nothing. And I think I'm gonna make it into a necklace so he doesn't have to carry it around all night. I have to concentrate so I don't mess it up. <laughs> Okay. 
All right, guys, it low-key looks so good. It does. I'm like kind of shook at myself. I think I really underestimate myself when it comes to like being artistic, but like, I'm not good at that art, but like I'm good at being like creative in photography and stuff. Anyways, um, it's too high. maybe lower, yeah. And I didn't have strings, so I literally cut this out of like some random like makeup bag that I got in PR, which honestly worked out very well. I want you to like strain these though. This so one's like twisted. Yeah, I think that's, or maybe a little lower. <laughs> Mira. That's good. Yay! That's all I had to make for today, but tomorrow's costume I literally have to fully DIY Ryan's part. Why? Because I have to make your whole sweatshirt thing. Since I have this out, I do have time, so I thought I would just go ahead and DIY his tomorrow costume. So this is going to be London Tipton and Esteban, so I'm going to be using puffy paint. Do you guys remember this from your childhood? Ryan did not know what puffy paint was, but I was like, this was my everything. But I'm going to do a little DIY, and then I don't have super glue, or maybe we do, but I need to find it so I can put some buttons on it too. doing my makeup and I did false lashes. I feel like my eye makeup actually looks pretty good. Um, but Ryan came home with Eureka. They're like hand rolls. So yummy. Honestly, this is gonna be perfect because it's just like a lighter dinner. And I feel like if I have like a super heavy dinner before going out, I literally wanna go home right when I get to the bar. So this is the perfect dinner. I got like a Saki Toro, Hama Toro, I think, and the Marfa. Grandpa Pajo eyebrows and mustache on. I don't have a mustache, it would still work. Wait, I think the eyebrows should do it, but I can't get this. My eyebrows do it. Um, having some technical difficulties trying to peel this shit off. These eyebrows aren't thick enough. <laughs> Got it. Woohoo! Which one is that? This one. Does it feel uncomfortable? No. Yeah. Now, does it feel uncomfortable? Not really. Look at waxes my eyebrows off. You pull it off. I know. <laughs> Just kind of thinking. All right, what do you guys think? Willy Wonka and Grandpa Joe. A little fit check. My eyebrows go the same if I can't tell. I have fake eyebrows on again. <laughs> I think you probably can't tell. <laughs> my eyebrows always thick. All right, we're heading out to my friend's pregame, and then I think we're gonna go out. Out. What time is it? Time Start check. Eight thirty. Show your golden ticket. I'm actually really proud of yeah, this, guys. This wasn't bought, she made this. I don't know where she got gold paper from, but. Well, I bought that. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you needed a golden ticket, otherwise you would have just been a grandpa. But I felt like I needed the cane, even though he probably should have a cane, right? Maybe you got the cane in the movie, though. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna go. We're already a little tipsy because we were drinking and we ran out of tequila, which honestly, both of us are more tequila people, right, Ryan? And we ran out, so we have been drinking vodka, and I think we're not used to it. <laughs> so, shall be a fun night, but I'll vlog on my iPhone for you guys. Remember to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, because I'm going to be posting all of my Halloween content on both of those platforms. It's so underscore gnarly. Right after the iPhone footage, I'll end the vlog. So, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.